Hello Laura, it's your last day and uh, I think Sandra had the idea of it being a good idea to uh, do a, a pre-recorded message because unfortunately I, I can't be there uh, today uh, because I'm here uh, and it's a week earlier uh, so this is being recorded live on tape and I just wanted to say um, it's been a joy working with you this last uh, four and a half years. Seems only like yesterday. And um, to say thanks for all your excellent work. Um, I know you've done an excellent handover. And to wish you all the best for the future. And to mark the day, I've, I've written a little poem, which uh, I'll read to you now. <clears throat> oh Laura, oh Laura, is it really over? I can't believe that's the end of your CLS chapter. We'll all miss the sound of your dulcet Yorkshire tones, a cheery voice amid the moans and the groans of an office sometimes quiet and sometimes quite frantic. We'll miss your cheery face and your coffee room banter. We can try calling help, but they'll only get vexed. Your name in HR is in the column marked X. So when you jog to your new place, spare a thought for us here. As we struggle along without you, we'll hold back a tear. But we'll try to move on and put your memory behind us, though your workflow entries will give poignant reminders. So have a great night tonight, I'm sure you will, and uh, wish you all the best for the future and hope to see you back sometime not too soon. And just one small regret is that you won't see my moustache in its full glory at the end of November. So. That's how it is at the moment, and that will perhaps give you a fond memory to take away on your last day. Bye.